What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of LSPD FR. Tonight we are patrolling the Vinewood, downtown Vinewood area, Vinewood Hills, uh, a little bit of Hollick as well in Metro Los Santos. We're in the CVPI, uh, beautiful car here. Let's look at the lighting real quick. Uh, stage one is going to be um, just the caution lights here. Stage two. And there is stage three, the runners, the front uh, LEDs looking really, really good. And um, it's been a while since we've played LSPDFR. I did upgrade to 0 0.4. Uh, so hopefully everything works properly as we look inside the car as well. Uh, really, really cool interior. We've got the uh, the separation there. So um, so we can put somebody in the back of our vehicle, take them to the station if we need to. But uh, enough jibber jabber. Let's get on our patrol as we're going to let uh, dispatch know that we are available for calls and starting duty. All right, so uh, we pulled behind this vehicle at a stoplight, did a random plate check, and uh, the vehicle's owner, uh, their license is suspended, so we're going to stop them and just make sure that the uh, owner of the vehicle is not driving the vehicle as soon as we get a chance here. Looks like it's occupied one time. It's like a male subject, so. Go ahead and light them up. Forty-eight Paul showed me in a traffic stop on North Poplar Street with a black sedan occupied one time. Roger. It's going to be uh, zero five David Young Paul three eight five. Suspect's license plate. It's going to be a black five, super David D. David Young Paul three eight five a traffic felony. Right. Proceed with caution. Ten four. All right, he's suspended. So we'll just make sure it's not him. How's it going tonight, sir? Officer Stefan with the LSPD. Reason for the stop is the owner of this vehicle's license is suspended. Do you know anything about that? I thought my suspension was lifted. Okay. So you are the owner. Do you own this vehicle, sir? Well, technically not. I didn't get a title when I bought it. Okay. Where are you coming from tonight? Can't remember. Alright. Where where are you heading? Do you remember that? I'm just looking to have a good time, officer. Alright, well. Um, just sit tight for me, okay? Uh, I'll be right back with you. Actually, go ahead and... Uh, do you have your license insurance information on you? Kiflam. Thanks. James Bennett. All right, Mr. Bennett, sit tight for me, okay? I'll be right back with you. All right, so he um, he's not the registered owner. Um, I believe his license is valid, so. He's in good shape. Uh, he's driving the, the vehicle's not registered, though, I believe, is that gonna be our issue here um, to him. So I'm not sure why he's, he's driving the vehicle. Uh, it could be his friends. He uh, he is valid. He has no active warrants. He has one charge for resisting arrest. So uh, might need to go ahead and uh, bring in. I did smell some marijuana as well. So he has a resisting arrest. The vehicle's valid. Uh, it is registered to Chloe Blanc, and uh, Chloe must be his girlfriend or something. But we're gonna get a uh, we're gonna get a back up because he does have a previous charge for resisting arrest 148 Paul 
one forty eight Paul, go ahead. Required. We got a unit driving right by. Of course, they're not going to be our backup though. So we're we're uh, calling in an additional unit because uh, the subject does have a previous charge for resisting arrest. So we're just going to make sure he doesn't try to resist us. If he does, we'll be ready to be in pursuit. How's it going, officer? Uh, so I stopped him. Uh, the owner's license is suspended. He's not the owner, though. So, uh, but I do smell marijuana in the vehicle. All right, sir, here is your information back. I'm going to be honest with you. I smell uh, some narcotics in the vehicle. Have you been doing any drugs tonight? What are drugs? Okay. So is there anything illegal in the vehicle we need to know about? I don't have to answer that. All right, that's fair. Um, so will you consent to a search of the vehicle? I have nothing to hide. All right, so you are consenting to a search of the vehicle? Okay, sir, uh, I'm gonna have you step out of the vehicle, okay? You got anything illegal on you? Weapons, guns, knives, drugs. Anything that'll cut me, poke me, stick me? Um, Wait anything to that buddy. nature? Of course not, officer, okay. So, do you give me consent? Thank you. I'm sorry. Do you, do you give me consent to search you? I've got no problem with that. Okay. All right. Go ahead and uh, turn around for me, okay? Just make sure you got nothing illegal on you here. Just smell marijuana in the vehicle, sir. That's a probable cause to search the vehicle and search your person, so. Uh... Items, PCP, a lockpick, sunglasses, and a plane ticket. I thought you told me you didn't have anything illegal on you, sir. Well, PCP is illegal, so go ahead and turn around for me. Uh, Woo! Uh, Drop it! Drop the gun! Drop the gun! Drop the gun! Drop it! Jesus! He missed me somehow. 148 Paul, we've got a suspect down. Suspect down. God almighty. Let's go ahead and uh, block the road here. You alright, man? Thank you. God, I'm so glad I called you for backup. Woo. He missed me. Yeah, he, he didn't he didn't hit me, but good lord. Alright, let's go ahead and search the vehicle. He had PCP on him. We're just turning around to arrest him. There's a used bong, a Bud Light six pack, a pair of boots, four magazines, glass cutting equipment, a clown mask and a machete. So he was up to no good for sure. Luckily that truck is here so we can Go ahead and call paramedic for him. 148 Paul, can I get an ambulance to my location? On, uh, popular street. Go ahead and uh, clear traffic control real quick. So we figure out what's up here. Woo! Oh, shit. Lots of blood stains. That's his blood. Uh, I only, I, th I only got his blood on my arm there. He didn't hit me, and I can tell. Yeah, he didn't hit me. So. Thank God I called back up. That was uh, very clutch. We'll get him checked out, but I'm pretty sure he's not going to make it. Paramedics are here to check him out. Oh, he's alive. All right. All right. Well, he is uh, going to go to jail. He's going to go to the hospital tonight. You're lucky to be alive, bro. You're lucky to be alive. Unbelievable. 
Well, at least he's alive, so he's uh, Shit, no fucking way. he's gonna go to the hospital, and uh, then he'll be booked directly into jail. He's gonna be charged with possession of PCP, as well as uh, uh, attempted homicide on a PO. So he's uh, he's gonna go to jail for a while for that, for sure. But uh, we're lucky; nobody got hurt. Um, Somehow he survived, and uh, we'll that get this vehicle depressing. towed away, and uh, get this scene cleared, and we'll be back. Uh, we'll be back 10-8, but uh, that was a close one. We're uh, we're responding to a possible assassination attempt uh, downtown Vinewood. 148 Paul, go ahead and show us uh, in route code two. Not sure what this will entail. Look at the uh, computer real quick. Let's see what we've got here. No details, so. All right. Um, we're almost there at the uh, apartments, I believe. One forty-eight. Paul, show us on scene. Says he's uh the suspect may possibly be on top of the building. So we're uh I see him. I see him. One forty eight Paul, show us on scene. We've got a male suspect on top of the building on Alta Street. Looks like he has a uh, rifle in hand. Let's request a couple back. All units, assistance needed on uh, Alter Street. All right. Units respond code three. Have to go up there and make contact with him. I don't know how I'm gonna get up there, but I see him. He's up there. I see his rifle. LSPD, sir. Stay on me. We have Cover you surrounded. Right Drop Keep the weapon. Drop the weapon. He's not complying. He's not complying. Sir, drop the weapon now. Let's see if I can get him stunned. No. no, I'm too far away. I gotta get up there somehow. Sir, drop the weapon or we're gonna shoot you. Drop the weapon. He's just sitting there. He's not complying. I don't know if he speaks English or what. Alright, I'm gonna go I'm gonna attempt to make contact with him. You guys cover me. So he's up there. See if we can find a way up there. there. Should be a ladder over here somewhere. Yep. There we go. He's up there. I see him. 148 Paul. We're gonna make. Uh, we're gonna attempt to make contact with him. over there he's up there gonna be very cautious here Let's see how many units we have down here that can cover me Right now we've only got, uh, we've got, let's see, we've, they all left. Great. Appreciate everybody's backup. He's up there. I see him. We're not taking any chances here. Ready to shoot. 
It's already been a crazy patrol. There. He's right there. He's right there. He's right behind the building. Here he is. LSPD, drop the gun now. Drop it. I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. 148, Paul. We got shots fired. We got shots fired. The suspect fell off the building. Backup required in downtown Vinewood. I knew that was gonna happen. I don't know why he's up here with the with the sniper rifle. Uh, he's definitely dead. No way he'll be able to survive that. We'll see what the ambulance we'll see what the paramedics say though. He had a backpack on as well. So, so he's uh, he's gonna be DOA. I'm pretty sure. I don't know why he's up here with a sniper rifle at 3 a.m. in the morning. I don't know if he's waiting for someone to get out of one of these buildings and maybe a girlfriend cheating on him or something. I don't know. All right, CPR has failed, so he is uh, he is going to be deceased. Uh, we're gonna make our way down, back down here. Appreciate the paramedic coming up here. How's it going, sir? I'm good. Uh, I don't think he hit me, you so right. I appreciate it, though. Thank you. Why'd we even show up? I know, right? I was just hoping he'd somehow be alive. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and get the coroner uh, for him. I'm gonna search his body as well, see if he had anything illegal on him, other than the sniper rifle, of course. See what was in the backpack. Oops, sorry. <laughs> uh, so his name was Johnny Carter. Go ahead and search his body. See it, what was on him. He had a sniper rifle, a hacking device, and a digital camera. So he was up to no good for sure. We'll go ahead and uh, get the coroner in route. 148, Paul. I'm requesting a coroner. We got a uh, 1029 subject. Male subject, suspect. So, corner's here. That was crazy. Units reporting a disturbance in uh, a disturbance. Rockford Hill. Units respond code two. So never good when you respond to an assassination attempt. We got here. We located the suspect on top of the building. Um, we ordered the suspect to drop the gun multiple times and then I went up there to try to make contact with him. As soon as I got up there, uh, he decided to pull his firearm on me and uh, I had no choice but to shoot him. And unfortunately he had a, a long fall from the building. Um, but uh, he he made the choice tonight to, to be up on that building with a sniper rifle and a hacking device and a digital camera. So I'm not sure what he was up to, but we were able to neutralize him and uh, and get get everything clear here, and uh, we'll be back uh, on patrol. We're following this uh, red Mini Cooper right here. They're just kind of swerving all over the place. Looks like they're possibly under the influence so we're gonna stop them see what's going on
It's occupied twice. One forty eight, Paul. Show me in a traffic stop with a red Mini Cooper on West Dorset Drive, occupied two times. Ten four. Assistance needed on um, Dorset Drive. Requesting code two backup. One forty eight, Paul. Can I get a uh, plate check? It's gonna be on an SC two 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 Tom Queen Suspect Bob two zero three two two Tom Queen Boy two zero three no ten ninety nine. Covering fire. How's it going? Uh, stop this vehicle. They're all over the place. So just cover me. It's occupied twice. <clears throat> See what's up with them. Get the knife out of your hand. There we go. Hello. How's it going, ma'am? Officer Stephen with the LSPD. Reason for the stop is uh, I was following you back there uh, earlier on Dorset Drive, and you were kind of swerving all over the place, failing to maintain your lanes. Have you had anything to drink tonight? I'm not drunk, Ossifer. Just a little tipsy. Okay. All right, where are you guys coming from? Those lights are bright. Can you turn them off? No, ma'am. Where are you guys heading? I'm just looking to have a good time, officer. All right, do you own this vehicle? Yes, I do. Okay, how do you know your passenger there? That's my lover. All right. All right, let's start with your license and... Uh, Registration and proof of insurance on the Get vehicle, flown. please. Thanks. Angelina Hawkins. All right, Angelina. Sit tight for me, okay? What about you, passenger? You got your identification on you? Thanks. Mikey Plebson. All right. You guys sit tight, okay? Just sit with, uh, sit with these officers here, and I'll be right back with you. They, uh, she's definitely reeking of alcohol, so we're looking at a possible DUI here. I'm just going to run their information, get them out of the vehicle, do some FSTs. All right, so, uh, definitely smell alcohol in the vehicle. She's slurring her speech. She has, uh, dilated pupils, so we're looking at a DUI here, possibly. So I'm just going to, just going to run their information, figure out what's going on. She's vowed. She's got no active warrants. She's been arrested for second degree murder. Wow. Okay. So she's a convicted felon. Uh, 19 years old. Um, so Mikey is valid. He has no active warrants. Uh, he has an indecent exposure and, an, and uh, he was at fault for a car accident. So. He's valid, no active warrants. Right now, he looks like he's going to be free to go. Um, we're going to get her out of, we're going to get both of them out of the vehicle, have her do a field sobriety test, and um, see if she's able to drive the vehicle or not. That's, that's the plan. <clears throat> All right, Angelina, I need you to go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me, okay? Just sit tight for me, passenger. Oh dear. Where I know. I know. Whatever. Hello there. I know. All right. Follow me, okay? Whatever. Whatever. Come with me, okay? Let's get out of the road. <sighs> No, Angelina, Angelina, don't get back in the vehicle. Don't get back in the vehicle. Go ahead and let's arrest her. Let's go ahead and get her out. Whatever. Wait a sec, buddy. All right. You are going down. Right now, you're uh, you're being detained. 
Passenger, go ahead and uh, step out. One eight. Um, I did not say that he could take the vehicle. <laughs> but right now she's under arrest. Alright, um, do you consent to a breath sample? No, I've done nothing wrong. Okay, other than driving under the influence, that you've done nothing wrong? Okay. All right. Well, he is he is free to take the vehicle, so we're just gonna let him take the vehicle. He wasn't. Um, he is a valid driver, and uh, he's not drunk. So she uh, believes she is under the influence. So we're gonna go ahead and release uh, release her handcuffs. And we're gonna do some FSTs. Make Aye. sure she's good to drive tonight. Any more crap? You're wearing bracelets. Damn it! Come here. Come here. Hello? You're not free How to go. Rude. How rude, you're not free to go. Hold on a sec. Alright. Hello. Alright, ma'am. First one. uh first field sobriety test is gonna be uh Well let me Do you have anything illegal on you, ma'am? Any weapons, guns, drive drugs, knives? Do you consent of a Yes, I'll consent. Okay. All right. Turn around, and uh, she's gonna she's gonna pat you down. Make sure you don't have any weapons on you. Just a flashlight. Okay. All right. All right, ma'am. Hello. First test is gonna be a horizontal gaze. I'm gonna pull this pen out. I just want you to look at the the tip of the pen. Okay. Don't move your head head or just move your eyes. Uh, with the pen, okay? Alright, she failed. Alright, your next uh, your next test is going to be called a walk and turn, alright? I'm going to face this way. See this line right here? This line right here? I'm going to go ahead and I uh, want you to heel to toe. Walk this line. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that, you're going to turn around and you're going to walk back. So, go ahead and uh, perform that for us. Miss, 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 miss. No, ma'am, don't go up the steps. All right, she's she's intoxicated. Let's go ahead and arrest her. All right, ma'am. At this time, uh, your next thing, I'm gonna need you to turn around, put your hands behind your back, okay? You're going down for a long time, buddy. At this time, you're under arrest for driving under the influence. All right, you got any questions for me? Do you consent to a breathalyzer test? No, I've done nothing wrong. Okay, well we'll get we'll get one at the station. You understand everything? Yep. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and put her in the back of my vehicle. I'm gonna go ahead and take her to the station because I'm gonna be 10:42. All right, so we uh, we allowed the passenger to take the vehicle. Uh, he was sober. I don't know why he wasn't driving in the first place. They could have, uh, she could have avoided a DUI. Um, but he has a valid driver's license and he was sober. Um, so, so he'll take the vehicle home. Uh, she said that's her boyfriend, uh, but she's definitely intoxicated, and uh, she's going to be charged with driving under the influence tonight. So. All she had to do was let her boyfriend drive the vehicle tonight uh, back from wherever they were coming from, but uh, she decided to drive, and uh, we, we caught her and get got her off the street before she hurt herself or uh, anybody else. So uh, we'll be back. Uh, we'll be sending her to the station, and uh, that'll, that'll end our patrol tonight. All right, so uh, we're back in the station. We're going to go ahead and uh, pass her off. Uh, so she is going to jail for DUI tonight, and uh, we will be 10:42. A heck of a shift, a lot of action tonight, and um, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of LSPDFR with the CVPI. Uh, very interesting patrol, the graveyard shift. Uh, we'll probably do some more of these. Uh, really like not having a whole lot of pedestrians or vehicles on the on the road at uh, 4 a.m. It's kind of nice. 
Uh, but we do have some crazy calls and and a lot of a uh, lot of lot of corner calls tonight, which is never fun. But uh, that's part of and being a police officer here in Grand Theft Auto in the Los Santos area. So um, until the next one, I will see you guys later.